As you may have already heard, Pokemon told us that past characters will return in Pokemon Journeys. I know I'm a little late on this discussion, but since it's been a couple of months after they told us, I'm gonna give my accurate response on Pokemon Journeys who should return. Hello, hello, my name is Gui448 and I make Pokemon anime content. So if you like Pokemon anime content, then consider subscribing to my channel. It's free and you can change your mind later if it's not for you. Okay, just to give you some context, this is not a ranking video. There's there's no order in which I list the characters, just discussion and opinions. So let's start out with a controversial character. I don't know about you guys, but I am a little tired of people dying to see or obsess over Serena. Don't get me wrong, Serena is a very well developed character and a more shipping is fun, but god damn stop obsessing over her. Anyways, didn't mean to hurt anyone, just wanted to get my opinion out of the way. I talked a lot about how I know Serena will return in a past video. If you want to see that video, it's on my channel. Anyways, I talked about why she will return and when she will return in Pokemon Journeys. How she will return, I have no clue. But will she return? Yes. And to sum it up for you, Serena will return because she is too much to pass up on due to her popularity in the anime. Why I personally want Serena to return is she was a very well written character and a lovable one at that. It's nothing you don't already know, so I won't go any more into it. However, even with her mass popularity, Pokemon could go the lazy route and not write her in due to the shipping and stuff that went down in XY. Overall, I personally can say that it would be a dumb choice on their part not to include Serena in Pokemon Journeys because of the wasted potential and of course, the fans. Moving on to my next character that should return in Pokemon Journeys is Iris. The reason I want Iris to return is because I want her to take part in the World Coronation series. I think this would give a boost to her character as people overshadow anything related to the black and white anime. Just saying, I liked Iris as a character. That might be due to the fact that black and white anime was around when I started watching the Pokemon anime, but I never found her to be that annoying pest that everyone seems to put her as. So putting her into the World Coronation series could potentially shed a more respected light not just to the new viewers of the anime, but also the older ones. I'm looking at you Gen 1ers, we could also see how much better she has gotten with her skills being a Dragon Master, and of course, Dragonite vs Dragonite. Overall, Iris coming back is like a way of redeeming a not so bad character. Okay, I'm not gonna include Brock and Misty because they had their time in Sun and Moon, but that doesn't mean we still can't see them in Pokemon Journeys. There's just not much of a point of them returning. My next pick for who should return in Pokemon Journeys is Gary. I chose Gary because he is the OG Ash rival and he has not appeared in the anime since I think it was Diamond and Pearl. I personally want him to return for a cameo because we have not seen Gary in a while. I'd rather see him in a cameo than him participating in the World Coronation series. Gary is a professor, so I don't think it would make much sense to bring him back to fight Ash. If I were to make Gary return, I would do it in an episode where Ash randomly bumps into Gary like usual. It would make for a long time no see moment and move on. So if you guys want to know why I will not include Paul on this list, it's not because I think he won't return, it is because I will make a whole other video on why Paul should return. Moving on, we have an unpopular opinion, and that is Tracy. Don't get me wrong, Tracy is by far the best or even a good character, but I think he deserves a cameo after being randomly erased from existence. I don't think that's how Pokemon should handle not so great characters by erasing them, but give them either a chance to redeem themselves or a goodbye that's somewhat satisfying. I hope you guys can agree of what I'm trying to say here, because they could do this to a character they think is bad, and just like that, poof, they're gone. Overall, giving Tracy a cameo will put that erase from existence stuff to an end. We have already seen part of the Sudden Moon cast, so why don't they give us the XY cast? That's right, I'm talking about Clement and Bonnie. For some reason, I really want Ash to meet Bonnie when she can become a Pokemon trainer, but that's pretty unlikely to happen because of the whole aging crap in Pokemon. Even if Bonnie remains the same, I still want her and Clement to return. They're my favorite cast in all of the seasons because I think it's a really good balance of characters. Clement is the funny dude and also a stepping stone for Ash, while Bonnie takes on a more important role in my opinion. 
seeing things in the world of Pokemon through a kid's eyes and what it feels like and the effects of being younger than 10. Having the XY crew return in Pokemon Journeys would be like a breath of fresh air. Now we have Don, who again, to this day, is still a very popular character. Speaking out of the Diamond and Pearl remakes, I think Don would also be a breath of fresh air that we have not gotten in a while. And I don't know about you guys, but seeing a Don vs Serena battle in a contest would be pretty sweet. Again, Don has a big popularity. So just like Serena, I have a feeling Pokemon will sneak her in somehow. Now, I think this is the most likely two characters to return, and that is the rest of the Sun and Moon gang, which is Gladion and Lily. In episode 37, where Ash and Go visit Alola, we see Gladion and Lily make an appearance. So we already know what this will set up, either for a future episode, or what most people believe to be the Moan arc, so I can almost guarantee we will see more of Lily and Gladion in Pokemon Journeys. Anyways, for my subscribers, the reason I have not uploaded anything in the past couple of days is because my motivation keeps bouncing everywhere on whether or not I should make a video. Also, school is getting increasingly more difficult, but I know you guys don't want to hear me complain about that type of stuff. So if this video gets 5 likes, I'll post another video as soon as possible. So I hope your day is going just as good as mine, if not better, and I will see you guys in the next one. That's a wrap.